we're going to turn it over to reporter Shannon Smith at Fort Loudon Dam. TVA preparing for possible flooding. Shannon. John, that's right. And TV or the Fort Loudon Dam here is just one of several dams spilling right now in preparation for tomorrow's rain. They obviously want to make sure they can minimize as much flooding as possible. They're saying right now no no spotting of a flooding right along the Tennessee River, but that doesn't mean it can't pile up in some of its smaller tributaries. And that's also where you can see a lot of downed trees. With heavy rainfall across East Tennessee, flooding is possible. To prevent that as much as they can, TVA is spilling water from almost all nine of its main dams. The flows coming into these dams are so much that we're having to open spillway gates to pass that extra water. James Everett with the TVA says they'll keep spilling water through the weekend and for good reason. Yeah, we're not seeing locations along the Tennessee River near flood stage at this moment, but there's certainly we've seen a lot of reports of localized flash flooding. That flash flooding can make roadways unsafe and knock down trees without the help of wind or lightning. It may be the tree that fails and it may be the soil that fails. David Vandergriff with the UT Ag Extension says rushing water can act quickly to erode soil around trees. Then you don't have the soil around the tree, which makes it less stable. And water that stays around trees, depending upon the tree species, it may affect their long term health. So if they don't fall over now, they could later. Vandergriff says most trees that fall during a storm were already compromised in some way. Often they're already leaning before the rain comes in. Just be attentive to them, uh, particularly if they've got a lot of water on them or, or the, the ground's really saturated. Now, if you do lose a tree tomorrow or in any rain or flooding storm, you want to call a professional arborist. That's what Vandergriff uh, suggests to make sure that's taken care of correctly. TVA also wants to remind you if you are out on a boat in these waters to stay away from the dam. That's very powerful water. They don't want anybody getting hurt. Well, I'm live at Fort Loudon Dam. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Shannon, thank you. One person did drown in floodwaters in Soddy Daisy. That's about 17 miles north of Chattanooga. Authorities there have also rescued several people from floodwaters and police are warning people to stay out of high water zones. The Red Cross has set up two shelters at churches in that area. You can track those conditions through the WBIR weather app there. You can see the radar and also the 10 day outlook. Also the clearing we're expecting Friday and you can download it for free in the app store.